hey, it's another day, another book writing vlog. So I haven't really done shit on the book. I haven't really worked on anything. Well, that's not entirely true. I kind of worked on it. Like, I've written down some things that I want to happen, but I haven't worked on the outline. I haven't attempted writing any scenes. Oh, I'm still kind of writing down scenes, but I'm just not really feeling much inspiration to write at all. Or write work on this book at all, except maybe, you know, writing a couple uh, songs down that kind of make me feel the book. Feel the book? Yeah. We're gonna go with that. And, you know, life's kind of busy, and I've got a lot of other writing projects, because I'm trying to get this one series, this one fanfiction series done, hopefully before the end of the month. What's, what's today's date? Today's October 23rd. And I'm trying to get it done before the end of the month. I've got a couple more to go, but these are pretty long chapters. <laughs> and it's hard. I wrote a lot in that in the latest chapter for that yesterday. I've got like this last scene to write, and then I can uh, edit it and get it ready to post, and I can start on the next one. Because I had to write my the way this series works is I'm basically sticking uh, the reader into the events of the original story, so I had to make my own transcript. So I got the transcript all written down like a week ago, and I barely wrote anything last week on anything, including all the stories I'm working on and including book, because uh, Fan Days was last weekend, and I haven't even started working on any of the vlogs for Fan Days. I've got the projects ready to start, I've got all the rock clips, all the photos are posted on my Instagram, and on Facebook and everything, but I have not started work on any of the vlogs, not even out of order, because Sunday night when we got home, or rather I guess it was Monday morning on like a quarter after three, I threw up three times for no apparent reason. So we're thinking maybe that has something to do with my acid reflux, in case you don't know, I have acid reflux, I've had it for over five years, and recently, the, what I take, I take a reactive pill. So when I ha when I when I feel it, it feels like a stuck burp in the back of my throat and and kind of in my chest. I don't feel any burning. I don't feel a weird taste in the back of my throat like some people experience. I don't feel like the normal symptoms of heartburn. It just feels like a stuck burp. And when I feel that for more for like half an hour or so and it still hasn't gone away, I haven't burped it out or anything, then I take a Zantac. But in case you didn't know, Recently, there was a thing that came out, a study that showed that Zantac has cancer-causing chemicals in it. So now, no, even though the FDA has not told people to stop taking it, and my doctor has not, has not told me to stop taking it, she says that she's not concerned, I can still take it if I want, but we can also discuss, you know, other options if I'm not comfortable. No one, all the stores have pulled it from their shelves, and I've only got like, you know those sleeves that pills come in? There's usually like th three in a box of Zantac. There's only, I've only got like one and a half left. So, I'm and, but no one is selling it right now anymore. So once I run out, I might potentially be kind of fucked. But I took one Sunday night, and then Monday morning, it didn't seem to do jack. Shit, we, we think it was from my acid reflux. Honest to God, because I had I threw up three times on Monday morning. Like, between 3 and 5 a.m., I was up for two hours, could not fall back asleep because I was so nauseous. And then the rest of the day, I took it easy. I was fine. So, we're thinking it might have been from my reflux. That maybe the Xan attack didn't work. So, I made a doctor's appointment for this coming Friday to talk to her about it and be like, Hey, so, uh, I even wrote down, I have this note, where's my... I don't know why one note. I have. I always have one note open, but it's always it always closes. I made a note about what I ate, what time it was at, what time I took a Zantac, what happened. I also burped a lot on Monday, which for those of you who don't know is a symptom of reflux. A lot of burping. Now reflux has made me uh, nauseous before. If I wait too long to take a Zantac, then like something I don't know if it probably has something to do with the acidity. I don't know. It just makes 
me not it makes me nauseous and by then it's a, it's hard for me to swallow it's already hard for me to swallow pills that's a whole story for a different day but i have a hard time swallowing the zantac because it feels like there's because it feels like there's a stuck burp in the back of my throat my body's like oh you can't swallow this there's already something in your throat so we're just gonna let this sit here in the water and let the mint flavored coating dissolve and then you're gonna taste the bitter pill dissolve as it dissolves and you're gonna want to throw up even more and also my birthday is in five days five days from now i'm gonna be 19 and next month in case i haven't mentioned this already next month november 26th i start school to become an esthetician and i'm kind of freaked out like i'm excited don't get me wrong but i'm kind of freaked out and I'm trying to get all this shit done as much as possible. I'm filming a lot of videos for myself. I'm working on a lot of uh, Hellheart videos. For those of you who don't know, Hellheart is the channel I have with my cousin, Layla. You might have known us, probably not. You might have known us as Peace Squirt Gals, but we're Hellheart now. I've been editing a lot and scheduling a lot for, that vid for videos to go up there, too. And I've been trying to write as much as possible. And I just joined a Secret Santa thing on Tumblr that starts at the beginning of November. But I was smart. I had options. You know, one of the questions for the form to fill out was like, what are you willing to create? I only chose mood board and playlist because I don't, I'm not, I'm, I can't make fan art. I'm not artistically inclined in that field. I don't have time to sit down and write a, a fanfic. So right now I am also, I chose mood board and playlist as my only options because I'm so swamped and I'm trying to get I've been working on one particular fanfiction series since 2017 I'm over halfway through it's another one of those where I've inserted not it's not a rear insert this is an original character I created I inserted this original character into the storyline and each season is one book and I'm at the end almost I've got like two chapters left to write for the fourth season there were only five the show ended recently and then i have just the fifth one to do and that's the last one and i already wrote the epilogue because once the season finale aired i was an emotional bitch and i wrote the epilogue and fixed everything already that i didn't like in the finale and in case you couldn't tell i'm a little stressed because i was so excited to write this book to get to work on it and now i don't feel shit about it and i am sad about it I might go back and work on maybe book one. You know, that if it was like a fake dating thing and I'm a sucker for a classic fake dating story and I want to write a fake dating story. So I might go back and work on that a little bit. I'm pretty much just bouncing around from book to book when it comes to those projects. But my main focus right now is finishing all these fanfiction series that I've been working on for months for one project. Ye actual years for the other. God, I can't believe I've been writing that story for over two years. Holy shit. And I'm filming videos like three to four days a week, and that's also a lot of editing, and whew, and planning, and scheduling, and I am stressed. But honestly, I think the con really, like before the con, I didn't film or anything for like two weeks I barely had the motivation to write or really create anything and I love to create things whether it's fan fiction or playlists or whatever or practicing guitar and then creating videos of that I love to create things it's how I express myself it's a way to get my feelings out there it's why I started writing in the first place when I don't feel inspired to write or I don't have I don't want to write, it makes me sad. But I think this past weekend was great for me. It gave me a chance to sit back and take a break and enjoy myself. Fan days was, I think fan days was exactly what I needed. A little, see these weekends when we go to cons, me and my parents, they're like our mini vacations, like our biannual mini vacations because there's two cons a year, there's fan expo and there's Fan Expo Dallas and then Dallas Fan Days and they're both like, there are mini vacations. We stay in a hotel for two nights and it's lovely. It's a nice break away. And I always get very sad and emotional when we come back on Sunday night, but that's a whole other thing. We don't have time to unpack all of that. 
but I do tend, but I think it was great for me. Suddenly we got back and I suddenly have all this, this urge to do, st to make stuff, to finish these fanfiction series, to film these videos, and I feel great. Like, my motivation is back to do these things that I set myself up to do. As soon as I found out that I was, as soon as I decided I was going to, as soon as I picked a school, as soon as I got my words out of my head, as soon as my brain reconnects with my mouth, oh my god, as soon as I decided to enroll in this school, I started making all these plans, you know, get this done, get this done, get this done. Even before I was, like, officially enrolled, I'm like, okay, this is what I'm going to get done. This is how much time I have to do it. I have plenty of time. I'm not going to stress about it. And the more time that passes, the closer my start date for school approaches, and the more stressed I get. Suddenly, I don't have nearly as much time to do things as I thought I did. And I guess all that stress was just getting to me a lot. And... Fan days was exactly, I've said, I know I'm repeating myself at this point, but it was, it, it was exactly what I needed to get my motivation back to help me just chill a bit, not worry about school or writing or making videos. It was lovely. I also started watching Walking Dead. I'm like almost 20 minutes in the second episode of the first season. Like, I literally just started watching. And I never thought I would watch Walking Dead because, like, those kinds of zombie shows where it's, like, really gory and stuff, I don't really particularly care for those. Or at least I didn't. The only zombie show before then I ever watched was iZombie. Because that wasn't real. That wasn't, like, gory at all. I might have set too many goals for myself at this point because I've got almost a month before I start school. So I know I said I probably wouldn't be like sitting here like this every time I did like a, a writing vlog thing, but I'm I just like I'm going to like just film clips and once I have enough footage for an entire video, regardless of how many times I jump around and jump places, then that's just how I'm going to do it. That's going to be the easiest thing for me. It's going to be a lot. That's going to be like so much less stress on me. I'm going to be like, oh, I ha I'm not going to be like, oh shit, I have to sit down and film this book vlog, this writing vlog. Oh shit, I have to film this video. Oh shit, I have to film this video. Oh shit, I have to write this. I have to do this. So whether I'm sitting here like this or I'm sitting somewhere or walking somewhere, just hanging around somewhere like this with my phone, that's just how it's going to happen. But now I'm going to go ahead and end this book writing vlog here. So thanks for watching, like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you want to see me do more stuff like this. Make sure you check me out on my Instagram, Tumblr, and Twitter. I am most active on my Instagram and my Tumblr. I also have a Facebook page dedicated to my cosplay that will also be linked in the description. I'm Opal Sapphire, and I will see you in the next video.